Welcome to edition 4 of Ireland in View. We're going to take you out of Dublin today. I'll show you a couple of things in Dublin and then take you down all the way as far as County Carlow. The places we're showing you today, you will need to have a car. Let's start off here in Stevens Green. We have loads of greens in Dublin, loads of parks. The Phoenix Park being the biggest one with 700 acres. This is the view over St Stephen's Green. In the distance are the Wicklow Mountains and then we'll pan to the left and you will see Ireland's Eye and Hulse there in the distance. This is a statue of Oscar Wilde, the great poet, writer, and that's in Merrion Square, another of our great parks to visit. If you like what we do, Please subscribe, hit the bell and never miss our videos. One of the places that Dubliners love going is out to the South Bull Wall. The South Bull Wall was finished in 1731 and it's a great walk. You can park halfway out in the car and walk the rest of the way. If you want some bracing air and get some exercise, this is a favourite place for Dubliners to go. There's loads of people there every weekend. Dublin always had a problem with shallow water for boats, so the Bull Wall north and south was built, with the North Bull Wall being finished in 1725. Outside Dublin, this is the beautiful Parish Court House on Parish Court Estate, County Wicklow. It is very well laid out with beautiful gardens. There's also a shop, restaurant, and there's a garden centre at the back. And of course, there is also the main hotel, resort and spa just beside it. A great place to stay and visit everything in County Wicklow. Now I look at Rathgall Hill Fort. It's from the Iron Age and is one of the most well-preserved forts in Ireland. You can park right beside it and there's a good road to it. If you look up Wicklow County Council website, it will give you all the information. Next we'll take you up to Glendalough. If you're a hiker, or a walker, there are loads of trails to walk in Glendalough. It's one of the most visited places in Ireland. This is St Saviour's Church. We're looking over the top of up the glen towards the well-preserved round tower and the two upper lakes at the upper end of the valley. It's a glacial valley and it's famous for its wildlife, including goats, birds, and every form of wildlife you could think of, including deer. If you're very lucky, you might spot a deer and a calf. We can then take you up to the lakes up in the Wicklow Hills, up from Lara, out of uh, Glendalough. This is the Guinness Lake, or Loch Tay. So called because the water is black, and you can see why from this distance originally owned by the Guinness family and they were said to have put sand along the top edge you can just see it in this shot to make it appear like the head of a pint of Guinness obviously the sand was not there in the first place but it <laughs> does the job this was a beautiful sunny day in January when we were there then we take you on down to the beautiful place, St Mullins, down in Carlow. And this is the remains of a monastery originally built by St Mullig in 614. The church is still used today and is right beside the Barrow River. If you like to fish, this is the place to come to. The Barrow is a tidal river and it's wide. There's lots of uh, boating activities and there's also a beautiful restaurant beside it which you can see here coming up. Loads of people visit, you can park, you can have something to eat. That's an old barn that was converted into an old grain store that was converted into a restaurant and it's a beautiful quiet place. Again loads of walks, this is a barra walk along the side of the river. If you're very sharp-eyed you can see the fish coming up to the top of the water to take the flies. Thanks for watching. If you like what we do, please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.